Hello, welcome back to our series on determinants. In this video, we shall solve a problem where we use properties of determinant to show that the given determinant is equal to 4a square, b square and c square. One way of finding out the value is to expand. The other way is to reduce the given determinant to the simplest possible form and then expand. Right? We'll show you how. Now, the right, left hand side, the given determinant has A as common in row 1, B as common multiple across all elements in row 2, C as common multiple across all elements in row 3. Now we can use property number 4 across all the rows and take A, B and C common from each of the row. So if I do that, what we get is minus a, b and c. We have taken a common out from row 1 and this becomes a, this becomes minus b and c. What we did, we have taken b common from row 2 and this becomes a, b and c minus c all right why we have taken c common out from row 3 so here we use property number 4 which says if there is a common multiple across all elements in a row we can take that a factor out as common which we have done here right and now before we expand we said we need to reduce the the given determinant to as simplest form as possible. One way of doing it is to create as many zeros as possible so that the eventual expansion becomes easy. Right? Now let's look at this. If we add these two, that is, we use property 6 and then say row 2 becomes row 2 plus row 3. This determinant becomes ABC, which is a common outside minus a row 1 we are not changing anything bc and this becomes this plus this right so 2a minus b plus b is 0 plus c minus c is 0 so we got a lot of zeros here so it should be easy to expand the matrix expand the determinant so let's see if we can reduce it further and make it even more simpler right so now again use this is property number six again use property number six and say row three becomes row three plus row one right if we do that what do we get a b c minus a b and c this row remains same because we're not doing anything here now, the last row we said becomes row 3 plus row 1. When I add minus a pl plus a, you get a 0 here. Plus b, plus b, you get 2b. And plus c and minus c gives you another 0. Now, look at this determinant. If we expand it by row 1, right, b, if I expand by b into, there are a lot of zeros, a into, D0. So A and B will not have anything. We just need to expand by C. So essentially, if you expand, you will get minus A into 0, 0, 2B0 0, minus B multiplied by right, minus of B multiplied by 2A, 0, 0, and 0. And this is 0, right? Plus C multiplied by 2a 0 0 2b see this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 because there are a lot of zeros there so and the whole thing is multiplied by a b c so finally it becomes a b c multiplied by just this right which is c into 2a into 2b which is equal to abc into 
ABC, which is equal to 4 A square, B square, C square, which is our desired result. So this is how we use properties to simplify a given expansion problem. Thanks for watching MathSmart. Subscribe to MathSmart.